So if you thought India's semiconductor vision ended at two nanometer chips designed in India, think again. Because today the narrative has shifted gears. We are no longer only talking about the design. We are now talking about manufacturing and that too about the three nanometer by 2032. And what is imperative to understand is that this isn't just a theory. It's how nations are gear up for the next decade. Because as India builds its own AI infrastructure at home, the IT minister is in Washington at the G7 table negotiating access to the minerals that keep the digital world running, indicating an intersection of technology, geopolitics and power. This is Front Page by AIM Network, which of course now bring us to the fact that you need to like, share, subscribe. And of course, now getting into this wonderful development. What has the minister actually promised? Ashwini Vaishnav, in a fresh offensive, has laid out a battle plan to business standard. The roadmap is phased and it is aggressive. Phase 1, 2026, which is the engine's start. CG Semi, Keynes Technology, Micron, Tata Electronics. 10 units going into commercial production. The Made in India stamp hits the silicon. Then we come to phase 2, 2028, the ramp up. India stops being a spectator and becomes a key player. Then phase 3, 2032, the moonshot, which is global competitiveness, fabricating at 3 nanometers. And he didn't mince his words about AI either. This is what he said. AI is the fifth industrial revolution. India must have sovereign capability, end quote. Ambitious? Absolutely. Realistic? Well, that needs to be analyzed. And here is the quick reality check. So when we hear 3 nanometer, let us not just think a smaller chip. On the other hand, it is a physics breaking down. 3 nanometer is an ecosystem beast. It requires extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography. Machines that cost hundreds of millions of dollars each. And over and above that, it requires a supply chain that goes miles deep. Speciality gases, photoresists that don't fail at the atomic level. And then the yields. So if you lose 5% yield at 28 nanometers, it's a bad day. But if you lose 5% yield at 3 nanometers, you burn $100 million. Which means building the fab is the easy part. Running it at 90% yield, that is like, well, my friends, an Ironman marathon on a mountain. What this does is that it ties directly into sovereign AI. The government has put over 10,000 crore rupees on the table for the India AI mission. Why? Because sovereign AI aims at owning intelligence instead of renting it. That means owning the model. So you need to watch out for Bharat Gen and Sarvam AI. Owning the compute, which is securing 10,000 plus GPUs and owning the data. The vision isn't just design here, manufacture there. No, the vision is design here, train here, build here. But to build, you need raw materials. And this is why the minister is in Washington DC right now. We cannot have a 3 nanometer dream if our supply chain is a nightmare. Right now, China refines roughly 70% of the world's critical minerals. Cobalt, graphite, rare earths. The materials one needs for electric vehicles, for batteries, and yes, of course, for the tools that make the chips. And India at the G7 critical mineral stable is a step towards de-risking. It is about ensuring that when our fabs come online in 2026, they aren't just held hostage by a single country's export controls. We can't talk sovereign AI while depending on hostile supply lines. And now, in conclusion, here is the front page take. The ambition is correct. The building blocks, which is 10 plants, 300 plus universities, deep design talent are actually being put together. The geopolitics are aligned. But the gap between a powerful pitch deck and a 3 nanometer wafer is measured in execution. So the questions are, can we deliver the power, the water, the policy stability, the yields. Because if we do, 
This decade bridges the gap from designed in Bengaluru to made in India. At this point, I would of course like to, well, ask you, what do you think? Is 3 nanometer by 2032 a realistic target or are we underestimating the sheer brutality of advanced manufacturing? Please do let us know what you think in the comments below. There is front page by AIM Network. Like, share, subscribe and remember, think AI. Yes, you said it. Think chips and think AIM. Thank you.